Now, the ultimatum issued by tanker drivers under the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers to the Lagos State Government has elapsed. Fuel scarcity now looms in the state, but as at Sunday, activities in petroleum stations were still stable. Motorists want the government to yield to the workers' demands to avert the impending fuel scarcity. Sharon Ejasson reports. The leadership of the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nupeng, have directed tanker drivers to withdraw services in Lagos State from Monday, 10th of August. These followed failure of authorities in the state to address three major issues that caused pains for the hapless petroleum tanker drivers for several months. According to the statements jointly signed by the National President of Nupeng, William Sakburia, and the General Secretary, Olawale Afolabi, members of the union are deeply pained, frustrated, and agonized by challenges faced by petroleum tanker drivers in Lagos, and are left with no option but to withdraw their services until the state government and other relevant stakeholders address them. The president is our honorable chairman. Some of the challenges are extortion and harassment of petroleum tanker drivers by security agents and thugs, maintenance of containerized truck at Apapa, Kirikiri, and beachland areas of Lagos, as well as collusion by government officials to hinder loading at depot and tank farms. Nupeng added that members have made several appeals to Lagos State Government and the Presidential Tax Force for the congestion of Apapa Port without response. While activities in petroleum stations remain stable, motorists who were able to purchase products want the strike to be averted. The exploration by touts is too much. Attempts to pay as much as 4,000 naira daily. Government should please intervene. We transporters are not making any profit. We carry less passengers now and they pay more. They have been complaining. Well, I expect government to react to that and make sure that um, uh, the issue of area boys on the street is properly taken care of and then they should sit these guys down and negotiate with them so that things will move forward as expected. With the partial closure of the third mainland bridge and ongoing construction within the axis of Lagos State, which has increased the number of hours people spend on the road, motorists, residents are hopeful that the Lagos State government and other relevant agencies will intervene. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News, Lagos.